welcome to the another session in frontiers in safety so today we will see the installation of ansys 2024 student version so the objective is to uninstall first to uninstall the previous version then uh, download the new version and extract the files uh, last step will be to install the installation of new version which is available so first thing what we will do we will uninstall the file which is previously been installed uh, so wherever it is installed in that directory we have to go i have installed in d directory so you can see 2024 release one version so you have to click on uninstall option available and run as administrator over here once you run as administrator the next process will start that is for uninstallation so this will take some time depending on uh, the speed of your computer so let us say this process has started uh, uh, depend it it might takes time as you can see on the screen there is a lot of minutes are left so once this process is been completed you will see the installation complete message and exit so it is always better to uninstall the previous version of ansys before installing the new version so as to run it smoothly so it is almost ready for percent yeah so once it is 100 percent click on the exit so now the software will be uninstalled now you have to click on ansys student version once you click on ansys student version you will be officially redirected to the website of ansys so you have to search for the ansys student over there so on the left hand side you will observe the ansys student version so click on it so it might require to download the file so this is ansys 2024 release 2 version which is available from 31st of july so we have to save the file wherever you want say i am saving this in d folder here so you might required administrative login over here okay so the file size is around 14.9 gb so what is new in ansys uh, it is similar to 2024 version you are supporting around 10 lakhs of node with the student version of ansys again uh, the number of processors minimum 8 gb of ram uh, is suitable because it can works on the 4 gb also but uh, the one which is required is of 8 gb Uh, so problem size limit so we can have 128000 nodes and element for structural analysis and one million cells and nodes for fluid analysis so this is what uh, we can say uh, the comp- uh, we can say the number of nodes and element that can work on so license is renewable so uh, once the new version is coming you can uninstall the previous version and accordingly you can install the new one so it has the basic tools which are related to geometry uh, design modelers face claim apart from that we have the fluent option which is available transient thermal analysis static structural analysis so all these parts are available uh, with the given version of the ansys which has been available so the nav file is now extracted you have to click on setup option here right click and run as administrator as a runner as administrator so save the file wherever uh, you want either you can save it in c drive or you can go with the d drive also <laughs> depending on the space which has been available 
so if you have less space available you can go with some other drives also so let's click on the next button so the process now has started it's almost around 9% So once the installation is completed, you just have to click on search box, search for workbench in start box. Once you click on workbench, you will see the, if it is properly installed, you will see this option available for, inst uh, we can say opening the, uh, we can say software. Then uh, a basic workbench window will open. Okay, so this is the workbench window as open. You can see the analysis system, analysis as well as the component system that will be available on the left hand side, depending on whatever the things which you are using accordingly, uh, you can make use of all uh, the things which are available in the analysis as well as in the component system. In geometry, you can see there are three options available, one discovery, then space claim and new design modeler. <coughs> so the user interface is quite similar to the one which will be uh, observed in 2020.